My name's Sonny Webster, I'm a heavy rep gear sponsored athlete and I'm going to compete in Rio Olympic Games for Team GB. It's a childhood dream come true to be honest. Um, I've been training now for 11 years. Ever since I first started weightlifting, the whole goal was to compete in the Olympic Games. When I was um, in year five, I was sat in maths class and uh, I just remember the PE teacher come running in and she goes, look, we've got, we've got to turn on the TV here. London's about to win the Olympic bid. Kelly Holmes and David Beckham were on the TV jumping up and down and we'd won the Olympic Games. And I just thought, wow, I, I really want to be a part of that. And I was playing golf at the time and it wasn't really until I moved down to Devon and started weightlifting that I thought, this is my sport, this is my, my ticket to the Olympics. So I started that when I was 11 years old and um, 11 years of ridiculously hard training, full-time athlete for the last six years and um, I just narrowly missed out on London 2012 and uh, finally got the opportunity now to uh, compete in Rio 2016. The qualification event, the British Championships, I seem to have got everything right there and uh, brought out the best in myself in terms of total. So. Um, in terms of my personal actual goals while I'm there, uh, is obviously to finish as high as possible, but I have got a personal target of clean and jerking 200 kilos on the day. I think CrossFit has made an absolutely massive impact on the sport of Olympic weightlifting, especially over the last three or four years or so, you know, a lot of people have got into weightlifting because of CrossFit, because I mean, weightlifting as a sport isn't extremely well known, but CrossFit is obviously massive and incorporates a massive part of Olympic weightlifting, so I think just from having people getting involved in CrossFit, they're working out what weightlifting is, and then starting to take an interest. So it's great for the guys that are competing in Olympic weightlifting because you know they get more well known and more recognised for what we do. Since I started Olympic weightlifting, I think the one line that I've always lived by through all of my training is the biggest lessons you learn are when you lose. I mean, from all of those negative like experiences that you get in competing. It's the most important thing is how you react to that and come back and make yourself a bigger, stronger, better athlete. And I think that's definitely shown true in the last sort of six months qualifying for the Olympic Games.